I just moved here because I'm getting a divorce, and it's not final till September 18th. My husband will not give me any money, not one penny. The lawyer won't help me. My husband won't help me. My dad, Marlon Lee Whitmer, he's a minister, won't help me. My stepmother won't help me. I'm not quite sure why I'm here or what I'm doing, but there's a reason. My lawyer is just entitled. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. I'm moving down to Texas soon to help the children in Texas. I'm a very loving parent, very, very, very loving parent. Ma'am, we're discussing the rezoning for the Portillo's. Do you have any comments on that? For what? We're discussing the rezoning on 53rd for... Well, I live on 63rd. Again, we're here to hear comments about the rezoning. Well, I don't like Facebook, and I don't like the Internet because I can't find a job. The library blocked my password. Now tell me, does that make any sense to you? We have been casually ignoring a problem that has gotten so out of control that our children are throwing around names and words without even understanding their true meaning and treating things as, as though they're normal. I go into nice family restaurants and I see people throwing this name around and pretending as though everything is just fine. I'm talking about boneless chicken wings. I propose that we as a city remove the... Excuse me, I'm trying to... Yeah. Excuse me, sure. come on. I propose that we as a city remove the name boneless wings from our menus and from our hearts. These are our reasons why. Number one, nothing about boneless chicken wings actually come from the wing of a chicken. We would be disgusted if a butcher was mislabeling their cuts of meats, but then we go around and pretending as though the breast of the chicken is its wing. Number two, boneless chicken wings are just chicken tenders, which are already boneless. I don't go to order boneless tacos. I don't go and order boneless club sandwiches. I don't ask for boneless auto repair. It's just what's expected. And then number three, we need to raise our children better. Our children are raised being afraid of having bones attached to their meat. That's where meat comes from. It grows on bones. We need to teach them that the wing of a chicken is from a chicken, and it's delicious. I propose that we rename boneless wings in the city of Lincoln. We can call them buffalo-style chicken tenders. We can call them wet tenders. We can call them saucy nugs or trash. We can take these steps and show the country that where we stand and that we understand that we've been living a lie for far too long and we know it because we feel it in our bones. I would like to just comment here. For the record, that's my son. <laughs> See, there's a movie called ARROYO 2014. Get up and watch it. And guess what? I'm not the rancher. Not the rancher's wife, not the rancher's kid, not that I couldn't have been. That's not the path I chose, was it? My ex-husband's the killer, and newsflash, she's not dead. Hey, now my brother was here checking you guys out. So was my uncle's. Do you know you have scratchy toilet paper? And he really got treated bad. So you know what he said? You go buy them some toilet paper. Let's clear up some things. I have two boobs, not six. I have six butts. Because when you guys are talking about me, you have no idea who knows me. You sent an officer over to me to make sure I put a filter in. This is the best I could do, camels, okay? Here, we'll leave it here, too. And here is a monkey, and no, you don't get it, okay? Because the little kids you screwed over in my neighborhood, they're going to get it. I got marbles here, because who in their right mind ever thought it was okay to put a concrete company 50 feet from a family home, a residential home? How many meetings did you have with that family? Not a damn one. And I'm standing here to tell you I don't appreciate it. And you know what? I'm coming. And so you know what? I'm going to be here every single time there's a meeting. Because guess what? We're going public, aren't we? You know how many people? You know what I was supposed to do? I was supposed to give Roger Feigard some panties. Got him pink. I won't say what goes with pink. 
These are for Mickey Esposito, since everybody's panties get in a wad when I come up here. So send them to her, okay? Now I'm fat as a cow. Now remember, I have six butts, not six boobs. All right?